Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What you are looking at right here is the scuff <laughs> reflex FPS controller for PlayStation 5. This is the best PlayStation 5 Pro controller I've seen thus far. And I'm here to defend my point, man. Let's get into it. The packaging for the controller is nice. You don't get any controller case or anything like that, but you do get the scuff essentials. You get that beautiful orange black box. Then you get the controller. After that, you get your USB-C cable along with some extra thumbsticks. The controller itself also has a removable faceplate, which you would use to change said thumbsticks. Replacing the thumbsticks was easy, but not as easy as liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It really means a lot, and I appreciate every time that you do it. Now, right off the bat, the design of these controllers are okay it really didn't blow me away I got the steel gray and I also got the reflex pro which was all black both nice looking controllers they're okay neither was really stunning in any shape or form you'll also find that the PlayStation button was replaced with this like home button like this like you know it, it looks like a pentagon looks like a house kind of button which was pretty cool i did enjoy it the grip on the controller was okay not because the quality was bad i actually really liked the quality of the grip but they didn't put the grip all throughout the handles that kind of defeats the purpose of having grip on the handles of the controller why would you only put it halfway hex gaming and aim controllers have their grip all throughout the handles of the controller so that definitely put me on edge and one of the biggest reasons for why i noticed this was because on my last review of my last scuff controller the scuff instinct pro a great commenter his name is house baelish he pointed this out to me about how scuff will use these business practices so that you have to buy the gamer grip that they sell not cool scuff you should really put the grip all throughout the handles of the controller people will appreciate that more and be more loyal to your brand in the long run. Let's get into how it works. For the Scuff Reflex FPS controller, you get tactile, mechanical, clicky triggers and bumpers that are, you know, delicious to use. Very similar to the Scuff Instinct Pro controller that I raved about in my previous video. But always remember when you opt for these tactile triggers and bumpers, you do lose the ability to have adaptive triggers. So gotta live with that there. But if you're an FPS heavy player, then this wouldn't really matter too much to you. Here's what they sound like. Now the main event are the remappable back button slash paddles. They don't really fall in either category. It's almost like a paddle with a button in a way, if that makes any sense. It's just that when you click it, it doesn't feel like a paddle. It feels like a button, but we'll call it paddles because they look like paddles. And these back paddles are by far the best back paddle design I've ever seen on any controller that I've reviewed on this channel thus far. I know that's a big claim, but let me get into it. First and foremost, when you're judging back paddles, you don't really judge them based on whether or not you could actually put all four fingers on your paddles while playing. No, 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 that's not really how you judge them because most people aren't going to be resting all four fingers on the, on the back paddles at the same time while playing. What most people will do is that they'll use a two paddle system and then adjust for whenever they need the third and fourth options. And what happens is that with other controllers, like the aim controller that I'll show you a little later on, you may have to go up and down, which will require a little bit of wrist work and it can, it can really become difficult. What is easier is that you just slide inward. And that's what Scuff gives you. There are other designs out there. Extreme Rain and Battle Beaver have versions where versions where they'll just put two buttons, like one here and one there, which are also really good designs. And uh, listen, those designs may have beaten this design, if not for one incredible thing that Scuff gave us. You can remove the paddles and adjust them and use whatever combination of paddles that you want to use. So you don't have to run a four paddle design. You can run a three, you can run a two, you can run a one, you can run a left side, you can run a right side, you can do you can do whatever paddle design that you want and it will work on the game. There's there, there you don't have to worry about whether or not the controller won't, uh, won't react. No, it will work, it will react and the quality of these paddles are top Tier. I haven't. I, I, I genuinely. I do not mean to give it this much energy, but.
but the quality is top tier. It actually feels like the same mechanical buttons that you're getting in triggers and bumpers. And these paddles are the same for the Reflex, for the Reflex FPS and the Reflex Pro. So you don't have to worry about whether or not one has better paddles or the other. And either one that you get, the paddles are going to be great. Here's what they sound like. Remapping the back buttons on this controller is also very easy, the same exact process as it is for the Scuff Instinct Pro. What you're going to do is that you're going to hold the profile button on the back of the controller till the light starts to blink. Once that happens, you just take the back button and the front button that you want to map the back button to, press both buttons at the same time, then do that step again for all other back buttons that you want, then when you're finished, hold the profile button on the back until it stops blinking and then boom you have your back buttons mapped. Scuff also did us another favor which was really cool. They did this for the Scuff Instinct Pro. They gave you pre-mapped options for Battle Royale, Sport and Racing. So that was really cool. Blue is for Battle Royale, Red is for Sport, Green is for Racing. Pretty cool stuff though I find that I almost always end up remapping them the way that I would personally like but that's the beauty of it. They give you a little bit of service and then they give they let it be adjustable if you'd like so that's pretty cool and of course if you want to switch between these profiles you just press the bro profile button every time and it'll the light will indicate which profile you're in and you can only have three different profiles there's only two real downsides to this controller honestly number one the price point i spent almost 300 dollars on this I think that's overpriced. This is a great controller and one of the few controllers that if it could last long maybe could justify a $200 price point. But $300? Oh, you guys pushed it. You guys pushed it. And then second, the warranty. It's only six months. Six months is not good enough, especially for Scuff. Scuff, you're really rude for this. I, I, I like what you've done this year with the controllers. It's been incredible, but come on. Make it a year or more. I don't I just I don't think that's too much to ask of. Another downside is that removing the back paddles is a huge hassle and is honestly very difficult. You will actually feel like you're about to break the controller. You never do, but that's what it feels like. I don't appreciate that. Then putting them back in is a little tricky, but it's really the worst the first time. Once you do the second, the third, the fourth time, it is much simpler. So I gotta give Scuff that. But that initial time, if you weren't like a strong person, you may have to call someone to help you. That's how bad it was. It was very difficult to get out. It took me like five minutes to get every single part of them out. I definitely think that Scuff should have included some type of plier so that you can use it to pull the pieces out. I don't know if maybe they thought that that might lead to some people breaking the controller because I guess that would maybe add more force than what's required. But geez, there's got to be a better way because these fingers, I do go to the gym and it was really difficult. As for the buttons, the rest of the buttons are regular PlayStation buttons, maybe a little like softer to press, I would say. Um, the analog sticks are also the same pretty much as any other PlayStation controller, PlayStation 5 controller, same height, same movement, more or less, like just not that much of a difference. I did feel that the Reflex controllers had like a slightly tighter analog stick, took a little getting used to, but really didn't change my gameplay much. And that's really the review of the controller. It's a really great controller. Um, It doesn't come with too much because it's not like Xbox controllers where they come with their own softwares or anything. You know, the controller is the controller, but I really did like this controller a lot. As for the Reflex Pro, in comparison to the Reflex FPS, they're the exact same controller. The exact same controller. You know, I buy different versions of the controller just because I get a little curious. And when I had the Hex Gaming controllers, there was quite a difference between the two. But with these controllers, it's the exact same controller. The Reflex FPS just has mechanical triggers and bumpers, and that is the only difference. So if you really want a first person shooter based controller, go with the FPS. If not, go with the Pro. There's really no big difference here. Or you could just go with the basic scuff reflex, which is literally just the FPS or the Pro without instant triggers and without high performance grip. So here's a comparison sheet. 
just do what you like just understand that the paddles are the same across all controllers so you don't need to worry about that and if you really want grip then i guess go with the pro or if you just want the instant triggers go with the fps it's up to you but it is a lot of money which makes it very hard for me to recommend it to anybody but in the playstation 5 pro controller market there just aren't that many options and i've tried a few of them this is the best one so if you really wanted the best then i guess go with reflex fps but you know there's ways to go around this you could probably just go buy a remapping kit you know get it from extreme rate put it on the back of your controller save yourself hundreds of dollars and really be good but it's really up to you it's about it's about what you want to do how you're feeling there's so many options out there to get a playstation 5 pro controller you don't need to break the bank the way that i am so with that being said if you like the video then like the video and subscribe to the channel chuckavelli was in and now chuckavelli is out I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace, man.